Hello and welcome to another video of mine. In this video, I intend to look at the anatomy of the human ear. And then we also answer some questions on the human ears. So join me on this exciting journey. So let's look at the first question and see if you can answer it. Another word for the eardrum is the A, the oracle, B, pinna, C, external auditory canal, D, tympanic membrane, all of the above. What do you think? Take 30 seconds to answer this question. All right. So if you chose the tympanic membrane, you are correct. All right. Just in case you had this wrong, let's go through the anatomy of the ear. And then that will help you answer the questions correctly. So let's look at this diagram. The ear has three sections. We have what we call the outer ear. So the outer ear begins from the outer ear, which is the lobe from the lobe all the way to the tympanic membrane right here. Okay. They have the middle ear for tympanic membrane to the oval window. There's something called the oval window here. Okay. And then from the oval window onwards, that's the inner ear, the inner ear. So this part here, inner ear up to this point. Okay, right. So the outer ear here, the one I see on the outside, is known as the Oracle, right? So this is the oracle. The oracle, okay. And there are different parts of the oracle that we're going to look at. So the oracle, just to collect the sound, you know, for humans, we can't move our ears, you know. So the, you have to turn your head to know the direction of the sound. For, but other animals, other animals, they can move their ear to direct the sound in easily. And then this is the ear canal, also known as the tympanic canal, or some people call it the external auditory meatus. So tympanic canal, or the external auditory meatus. Okay, that's another name for it. Okay. Yeah. So the tympanic membrane vibrates when the sound impacts on it. And it also vibrates the three bony structures in the middle ear. So the middle ear has three bony structures. We call them the ossicles, the ossicles. And that's made up of the millers, which looks like a hammer, the incus that looks like an anvil, and the stapes that looks like a styro. Okay, so these three structures are known as the ossicles. So there are three bony structures. In the, in, the, in the middle ear, okay, called the ossicles. So good to know this, ossicles. Okay. And then from the middle ear, there's a tube called the eustachian tube. The eustachian tube leads all the way into the pharynx. It goes into the pharynx. Now the function of this is to help balance the pressure between the middle ear and the external um, environment or the atmosphere. So for balancing, balancing the pressure between the middle ear and the external environment or the atmosphere.
Okay. Right. So this is what happens when you, uh, let's say, in a plane, and your airplane ascends. You know, you have those funny feeling in your ear. Okay. It's because it's changing pressure between the inner ear and then the external environment. So that causes the collapse of the external, sorry, the collapse of the eustachian tube. Okay, collapse of the eustachian tube. Okay. So how can you relieve this? This can be relieved by swallowing saliva or chewing on something like gum. You know, and that, that helps to open up and balance the pressure between the middle ear and the external environments. Okay, so your ear doesn't pop. Now, when you count the middle ear, we have the cochlea and the vestibule somewhere here. We've got the vestibule to be somewhere around here. Vestibule. Okay. Now the cochlea is a snail-like structure. The snail-like structure that you see here, like a snail, cochlea. And the function of this is for hearing. So cochlea is for hearing. Now the vestibule, the function is for balancing. It helps you to balance when you're walking and so on. And on the vestibule, you have these tubes, three of them. They're circular, semi-circular in nature. So these tubes that you see here are called the semi-circular canals. So these are the semi-circular canals, semi-circular canals. circular canals. Let's write this out well. Semi-circular canals. They are three in, in number. And they are arranged at right angles to each other. So it covers all the planes, you know, the three-dimensional planes, X, Y, and Z plane. So no matter how you turn your head or yourself, you can balance yourself, okay. So that's a quick overview of the um, ear. Um, but let me add that the function of the semi-circular canal is for balancing. Okay, so balancing here. Okay, good. So now let's look at the auricle itself. Oracle itself. Now the oracle has different parts, as you can see here, right? So when you look at the ear lobe, what you see here, this part here, this curved part you see here, that is known as the helix. So that's the helix, all right? The helix. Now the helix has the anti-helix it goes in the opposite direction. So this is a helix and I just sent to that here running parallel to, almost like parallel to this here, this curve. So this is the anti-helix, right? So the helix and then it's the anti-helix. Now the anti-helix has the anti-helix crura. One is called crust. So oh, you see, and so these are the crura, anti-helix crura. Okay, as you can see here, this ended. Okay, then <laughs> you have the helix cross. The helix cross is here. Okay, so when you uh, trace it, this is the helix cross. Cross is like head. Okay. 
crests. Okay. And then this part's called the triggers. And I have the anti triggers. That's this part, you know, so they are like adjacent to each other. And then between the triggers, you have the inter tragic notch. That's the inter tragic notch right here. Inter tragic notch. Some people call it the inside zero. Inside zero. Inside zero. Or inside Cyrus. And that's the logo right there. Okay. And then between the hel 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 helix crux and the helix itself, the space over here is the Simba, right? The Simba. Okay. And then between the triggers and the anti triggers this space is known as the cave room, like a cave cave room, right cave room. and between the helix here and then the anti helix this is called a scaphoid fossa scaphoid fossa so this is just a quick overview of how the ear look like so the symbol and the cave room we call that the Kunka. So just good to know this, especially if you're going to do uh, medicine and so on. All right, great. So let's go to the next question. I'm, I know that's what you're waiting for, right? So based on what you know, you should be able to answer these questions now. All right, so number two, the three small bones of the middle ear are A, Miller's ankle steps, B, Miller's ankle pinna, C, Miller's pinna steps, none of the above. So again, take 10 seconds to answer this. Right, I hope you have the answer now. The answer is Miller's, Incus, and Stapes. Good job if you had a right. Next question. Some vibrations from the eardrum go through the dash dash into the middle ear. A, over window. B, tympanic membrane. C, eustachian tube. External canal. 10 seconds. All right. Hope you have your answer. If you chose the oval window, give yourself a pat on the back. Number four. The tube that runs from the middle ear to the throat is called the a, external auditory canal, B, tympanic membrane, C, eustachian tube, and D, all of the above. 10 seconds. Right, so if you chose the eustachian tube, you are correct. Remember, the eustachian tubes helps in balancing the pressure between the middle ear and the external environment. The inner ear is filled with fluid. A, B, collects vibrations from the middle ear. C, brings vibrations to the hearing receptors. D, is made up of two parts. 10 seconds to answer this. All right, so if you chose D, it is correct. All right, so the inner ear is filled with fluid, all right? Um, and also collect vibrations from the middle ear. It brings vibrations to the hearing receptors and it's made up of two parts, right? Remember the cochlea and the vestibule, they made up the inner ear. Okay, number six. The three organs of the inner ear include A, Mellus ankle steps, B, auricle pinna eardrum, C, vestibule, semicircular canals, and the cochlea. And then D, none of the above. 
right? So the three organs of the inner ear include the vestibule, semicircular canals, and the cochlea. So these are the organs. Okay. C. Number seven, the organs of the inner ear involved with balancing are the A, vestibule and semicircular canals, B, vestibule and cochlea, C, semicircular canals and cochlea, the cochlea and the organ of corti or corti. Now, the organs in the inner ear involved with balancing is which one? Right, if you chose the vestibule and semicircular canals, give yourself a pat on the back. Number eight, the structures of the inner ear involved with hearing are A, the vestibule and semicircular canals, vestibule and cochlea, semicircular canals and cochlea, cochlea and the organ of cotton. So for hearing, we're talking about hearing over here. So again, for hearing are the cochlea and the organ of cotton or cotton. Number nine, the dash is a spiral shaped chamber that looks like a snail, right? So which one of these looks like is a famous snail? A, vestibule, B, cochlea, C, semicircular canals, all of the above. Okay, so the cochlea is what looks like a snail, that's the organ for hearing. And number 10, the actual hearing receptors in the inner ear are called the A, organ of quarter, B, the malleus, C, steps, and D, anchors. So what do you think here? All right, organ of hearing is the organ of quarter. So this brings us to the end of the lesson on the ear. Um, I hope you've learned a lot in this short review. See you next time. Bye-bye.